So last week I wrote on my blog about the Legal Board, a keyboard designed just for lawyers. On Friday I received one and uh, I am, this is it. I'm going to unbox it and show you exactly what this is. As you see, it comes in this box that says inside this box is a keyboard designed by lawyers for lawyers. So let's see what it is. And I've kind of jury rigged a little setup here with my uh, iPhone. So uh, it might be a little bit clumsy, but let's see how it works. So slide off the cover. Open it up and uh, wrapped in uh, bubble wrap is the keyboard. Bubble wrap pulls right off. And uh, there's a very minimal uh, instruction booklet here. Finally, a keyboard that knows your type. Uh, really not an instruction booklet so much as a, a quick reference sheet with uh, a guide to some of the functions of the keyboard. Take it out of the box, and uh, you can see, I hope, uh, some of the keys that it has here. Uh, the number pad uh, uses the keys on the number pad for certain functions. Uh, the, this key right here basically turns the legal keyboard on and off. When you turn it off, it functions as a normal keyboard. When you turn it on, the legal functions uh, operate. Um, this activates the all caps button. This activates a search button. This inserts the section sign, the paragraph sign, the copyright symbol. Press uh, the number four button to insert a footnote and then shift and the number four button returns you to the text. Uh, number five uh, is uh, track changes, activates track changes. And again, shift and number five deactivates track changes. Number six inserts a uh, comment. And again, shift and six returns you to the text. The three keys, one, two, and three, uh, do line spacing, single space, one and a half space, triple space. The zero key down here inserts the word court. The uh, period key inserts id. Over here you get uh, court of appeals and Supreme Court. Uh, and up here is a key to insert the bullets. Uh, the bullets. And uh, with any of these word keys, if you press the key, it inserts it uh, in lowercase. If you press shift plus the key, it inserts it in uppercase. And uh, going down the function keys here, uh, you can, I hopefully, hopefully see here, uh, the words uh, that gets inserted here. So F1, C, F2, EG, F3, US, F4, F3rd, on down the line, F5 is F2nd, F6 is uh, uh, F sup, F7 is USC, F8 is CFR, and then as you go down, the keys insert plaintiff, defendant, and not just the symbols, of course, it inserts the full word appellant and respondent. Uh, and then there are three other keys here in sort of the center part of the keyboard between the uh, alpha and the numeric keys uh, for inserting um, italics, for changing text to italics, uh, underline, or bold. And that's pretty much it. The key, uh, the keyboard, uh, it, it is a wired keyboard, USB, has some pretty sturdy legs here that pop into place to hold it up. Um, I'm going to uh, plug it in, and uh, I'm not going to plug it in there because I don't have any USB. Hold on a second. I'll find an available USB port. Okay. And uh, fire up Word here.
I've got word on my wrong monitor. Uh, and that's kind of it. it uh, the, the feel on the keys is pretty good. Um, you can hear the sum sound to it. Uh, it's a comfortable keyboard to type on. The keys feel nice and solid. It is a membrane keyboard, not a uh, mechanical keyboard as some uh, purists would prefer. But it really feels uh, pretty nice and solid. It's a nice, nice layout to it. So that's pretty much it. That's the legal keyboard. Thanks a lot. This is Bob Ambrogi.